what's going on YouTube, it's Ben. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make more money by understanding your clients' needs. What's up YouTube family? Thank you guys so much for checking out my channel again. I know I've been on hiatus for like three or four days, so I apologize truly to all you loyal subscribers. By the way, if you're brand new to the channel, I talk about starting your own recruiting agency, business, entrepreneurship, all that kind of stuff. And if that interests you, which it probably does if you're on the channel to begin with, you should probably take a second and smash that red subscribe button right about now so we can get into the video about how to make more money by focusing on your client's needs. So check it out, let's start real basic here. Every single human being has basic needs. Food, water, shelter, pretty much that's it. That'll keep you alive and surviving, right? It's not gonna make you thrive, but it'll make you survive. And those are our basic core needs. Then in business, of course, there's other needs such as revenue goals or deadlines or specific production goals or maybe it's the amount of people you have on your team or in your group that's working for the company at the time being in order to meet quarterly profit goals or yearly goals all kinds of things all kinds of needs that need to be met in business in business who actually has these needs it's usually the client the hiring manager the person who needs teams to be built together to actually obtain all of these goals and meet all of these deadlines it's the hiring manager who has these needs as you can see from a recruiting perspective, it's pretty easy to identify and target who we need to figure out who has the needs and what the needs are. And from here, we can sort of go and precipitate exactly how we're gonna identify what the needs are, how to meet them, and then how to form a really, really good relationship in order to get really, really good business. On the flip side, if you are a candidate, meaning someone looking for a job, you want somewhere to call home as a workplace, that means that your need is a place to work and that's what your motivation is. You wanna find a place that you like working at, that you enjoy contributing to, and that aligns with your skill set. And so your motivation is to find that. The reason I say that is because Client needs and candidate needs are pretty much the exact same thing. They're just on the opposite sides of the fences. And recruiters are meant to basically bring these needs together and match make in order to make a match made in heaven and essentially make a ton of money while doing so. Coming from a recruiting business standpoint, there are those who win in this game and there are those who lose big time in this game. And it's all about who understands the motivation of the client or candidate and the need behind that motivation. See, there's always a motivation for someone to do something, but behind that hidden is a real need. And it could be disguised as a want, but at the end of the day, it's a need. And so the psychology behind who wins and loses here is really who can recognize what that need actually is first and get to it first. And let me explain. Just by chance, have you ever considered walking a mile in your client's shoes? Have you ever considered the pressure your hiring manager client is under to meet deadlines and to put teams together and to do all sorts of things for their higher ups? How about the motivation that they have to fill positions and grow their teams in order to ramp up and meet revenue goals or quarterly goals or whatever metrics they have? See, as a recruiter, you need to sit down for a second, understand what your client is actually feeling at that very moment. You really need to get to the core of what's behind their motivation. If you're gonna win in recruiting, you understand exactly what that hiring manager's needs are so you can meet them. So how do you do this? How exactly do you go about figuring out what the true need of your client is? I know it sounds super simple, right? Figure out the need, find the need, fix the need, get it, get money, be done. No, how do you exactly do this? You start with radically transparent conversation. You then go into endless questioning. You study their business. You study them. You study what they talk about. You study what they focus on. 
You ask them more questions about what they focus on. You figure out and dive deep exactly where their mind is at. If they're focusing on one thing, you follow that thing all the way down the rabbit hole until you understand exactly what they need. A lot of the times recruiters make this mistake. A lot of the times they think that, oh, I know exactly what they need and I'm gonna bring them what they need and then they're gonna be happy. That's not how recruiters win. The recruiter wins when they figure out what the client actually needs and then they deliver on what the client actually needs. Now here's what happens when you start to figure out what that actual need is hidden by that hiring manager's motivation. Believe it or not, you end up on the same level as your client, the same level as the hiring manager you're working with. This is a position that you want to be in. This is your exact goal. You want to end up on the same plane as this person, not below them, not above them. You want to be right there with them. You want to be a partner, okay? You're solving a problem, remember? So you want to be right there on the same vein, figuring out the exact same problem that they have in the trenches, working it with them, no longer working it as a third party, but literally aside them, and that's when they're gonna see you as most valuable. If you're able to obtain this spot with your client, you've met the sweet spot, okay? And two things happen when you get in the sweet spot with your client. Number one, you're able to actually create the perfect search plan because you know exactly what their pain point is, what their need is, and exactly what type of candidates that they need. Now, number two, if you've done this properly, you no longer have a client, you have a friend. You've consulted this person enough, you've helped them enough, you've leveled the playing field with them, you've become friends with this person rather than just a third party vendor to this person and you've opened up an entirely brand new relationship which can lead to referrals, you know, repeat business, all sorts of things that I can't even talk about in this video that'll go long, long, long beyond this particular relationship. But you've made yourself a friend now in the business. And creating a relationship that has value added to it is what recruiting is all about. So if I haven't made it clear enough, dissecting the motivation and understanding the true need that lies beneath is when you're going to win. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the alert button so you know every time I come out with a new video, hopefully which is daily from now on, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care.